Welcome back to the shop everyone. Today we test belt grinder performance. With some help from Adam Booth. Now that's a hammer. <laughs> his YouTube channel is abom 79 He's got a belt grinder. And from Alex Steele and Will Stelter from Alex Steele channel, they're gonna combine my belt grinders here in the shop and theirs. What you're gonna see is the variety of belt grinders between all of us and hopefully the differences in performance that we all have in the, here in the shop. So here's the scenario. You're about ready to purchase a new belt grinder or a used one, or you're gonna build one from scratch. Well, it can be kind of confusing. How much horsepower do you need? What kind of surface speed are you after? And generally, how much removal rate are you looking to get when you purchase your machine? Much like when you purchase a new car or a Corvette or a sports car, you know how fast that car is in the quarter mile and you expect it to perform in a certain way. Well, that's the problem is we don't know or have a standardized test on what to expect when you purchase or build a belt grinder. I'm in a production environment a lot, so I want high material removal rates and I want it quickly. I prefer not to stand in front of a grinder all the time. So here's what I'm proposing. We kind of run a test, much like you do uh, at the quarter mile or a drag race. You know you have a certain amount of horsepower, the weight of a car, but in all reality, is it fast? We run the vehicle over a certain amount of distance and then we get an an arrival time or the quarter mile time. So I'm kind of proposing we do the same thing with the belt grinder. We have a set size of material and we grind it over a certain amount of time and we end up with a distance and now we have an actual performance number of the machine. This test isn't about the belt grinder itself and the accessories and how it works and different, and different orientations you can put the machine in. This test we're gonna do is just strictly about performance and a test that you guys in your own shop can perform on your own and then be able to compare with me and Adam and Alec and Will. And there's nothing like this for belt grinders. So it should be kind of an interesting collection of information we gather here today. Belt grit, horsepower, and surface feet per minute. These are the building blocks that could make or break a good belt grinder. So this is the test. How much this rod disappears in one minute. And the standard's going to be a half inch round bar or 13 millimeters if you're in metric. The harder you push, the better, of course. So you wanna maintain that belt speed at just above a stall. If we're all doing the same thing, we will now have a baseline to compare all our information to. That way, if you go to build one, you know what performance you're after and can build your machine accordingly to what your performance needs are. So I currently have two belt grinders here in the shop, so let's test both of them to see how they do. This was a old uh, wood belt sander that I found at a swap meet, it was just the head. So I retrofitted it onto this base and turned the table saw into a belt grinder. So what we have here is three horsepower. The surface feet per minute, I'm gonna have to calculate and I'll pop it up here on the screen. I got a very well used 36 grit Norton blue grinding belt. So let's just see how she performs. The overall length is 27 and 5 16 We're at, what, 25 and a quarter, approximately two inches a minute. So we're gonna replace it with a new 24 and we'll check out the test with this one. Twenty-two and nine sixteenths where we started with the new belt. We're at seventeen and seven eighths. So we really removed quite a bit of material there. Okay, the other grinder we have in the shop is this little Harbor Freight thingy. It's uh, got a surface speed of eleven eighty-five and a horsepower of three quarter. This is also a eighty grit belt. And like I said before. 
This is gonna be, this is what, $85. So I don't expect performance out of this to be high at all, but this is why we're doing this test. Okay, so let's turn it on. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. Let's just say this thing rated three and a half stars on Harbor Freight's website. <laughs> Let's see if it ground three and a half stars worth of metal off this thing. We are now at 25 and an eight, eighth of an inch in one minute. So you get to actually compare two machines with a real value. This is what I find extremely fascinating. So let's see what Adam and Alec have to say. I'm using my Wilton belt sander, and this is a one and a half horsepower motor. It is single phase, 115 volt. The uh, surface feet per minute for the belt is 2850. This is the size six by 48. And this particular belt is a very old worn out belt. It is a 36 grit, but like I said, it is old and worn out. So let's go ahead and do a test and see uh, what kind of metal removal we get. This is half inch diameter cold rolled steel. So piece of half inch. And I've got it cut to exactly 10 inches in length right there. So we'll do a 30 inch, or I'm sorry, a 30 second cut on this and see what kind of metal removal we got. We got our timer set up right there. So let's get going. See, we generated a lot of heat right there. Just cooling it down in the water. So I have removed approximately 1 16th. <laughs> so not very much. All right, so let's swap the, the belt out for a fresh belt. Okay, we got the new, new belt on there. This is a 3M 60 grit belt, brand new. We've got it ready to go. So we approximately removed one eighth of material on this uh, per minute because we only did 30 seconds there. So let's go ahead and uh, try our test again. Go ahead and cool her off. So, oh, <laughs> we removed a lot right there. So we actually removed seven sixteenths of material. We're at nine and a half inches now, right at right on the nine and a half mark. So uh, seven sixteenths. So that's going to be uh, seven eighths of material per minute using the new sixty grit belt on here. This is Jason's grinder test. We have ten inches and fifty thou of half inch round hot rolled mild steel, 36 grit Norton Blaze belt, product number R980P. We have a six inch wheel run off a 3800 RPM motor. And so, 15 seconds, start. So over a quarter of a minute, we ground to nine inches, 140 thou. From 10 inches and 50 thou to nine inches, 140 thou. So what did we learn today from this experiment? I've always gone with the impression is horsepower is king. Horsepower gets you down to the quarter mile faster and the same goes for the belt grinder. The more horsepower you have, you're gonna be able to utilize the whole width of your belt to be able to grind a wider part. It also is gonna allow you to have a faster surface speed on your belt, which is gonna be able to help you pull material off quicker. And it's also gonna be able to 
run a coarser grit belt. So let's take a look at this little grinder right here. Obviously this little machine's running a three quarter horsepower motor on a four inch wide belt. What this translates to is when you go to actually grind a four inch wide part on this belt grinder, you're gonna stall it. The effective range that this really has for contact surface is really three quarters of an inch. So keep that in mind. So how much horsepower do you really need? Look for specs in the range of one horsepower per inch of belt. That will probably put you in a good ballpark. Uh, obviously the more horsepower the better, so try to choose accordingly. I would love it if you guys posted your horsepower, your surface feet per minute, your belt grit, and the time that it took to hog off some piece of half inch material. And if you could leave that in the comments, we can all learn from each other. And I will leave a link in the description below of a speed calculator. So if you wanna just plug in your values of your pulleys and your motor speed, it will spit out a surface feet per minute calculator for you. Uh, if you're plus or minus 500, that will get us all in the general borrow park so we can have some sort of comparison test. I'm gonna be performing this test on the go-kart belt grinder when it comes back from powder coat, so stay tuned for that. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll catch you on the next one.